going to be a video I put together that's going to be called the Makeup Artist Checklist. So basically I put into categories like face, lips, eyes, and tools. So in the description box below, I'm going to list a bunch of products that I think you guys could have. Like, so as you're watching this, as I name the things that are good to have, must haves, no budget limit type thing, you can write down if you're like trying to put together like a makeup kit or like trying to get started with makeup and you don't know like what's good to have, what you should have, and what's not really a necessity, then this would probably be good for you, but it is going to be long. Like I'm going to have a whole bunch of products that I think that you guys would enjoy or like to have. So for under face, I have must have, you must have these in my opinion. So I have moisturizer, foundation, concealer, translucent powder, contour powder, blush, and highlight. Those are the must-have things that I would start out with. Now I'm going to move on to the stuff for the face that's good to have. You don't have to have it, but it's good to have. So cream powder blushes, cream and powder blushes. I only have powder blushes because in my opinion, I enjoy those more than cream. I feel like cream's harder to work with. Cream and powder contour. I don't even have a contour palette because I don't really care much about that, but that's good to have. Um, face primers, that's a big one, um, but it's good to have. You don't have to have it. Setting spray is good to have. You don't need it. Eye cream, that's optional. Like if you don't want eye cream, don't get eye cream. Correctors, like so to correct redness and stuff like that. Cream and powder highlight, I think that's what that is and body bronzer. So that's good to have stuff. Now onto the no limit budget. This is if you just like have all kinds of like extra money to spend. So more shades of blushes, foundations, concealers. So that's for the face. So I'm gonna go in order. Um, so be sure to check the description box because I'm gonna have all this linked in order. So, and all you'll have to do is click the links and I'm going to keep this strictly drugstore. I'm not going to put any high-end products in because I think that that's going to be really expensive for people. So I'm going to move on to eyes now. So must have for eyes. I would recommend mascara, basic eyeshadow. So like a basic eyeshadow singles or an eyeshadow palette. What's easier is probably like a basic eyeshadow palette because you would get more colors. Eyeliner, eye primer. Those are like the must have. Good to have would be colorful eyeshadow, lashes, lash glue, and brow gel. That's what's good to have. Not everybody likes colorful eyeshadow. So onto the no limit side, pigments, pigment glue, colorful liner, and cream eyeshadow. Now onto the lips. Must have for lips is lip balm. You always wanna keep your lips moisturized. Natural lipsticks, bright lipsticks, clear gloss, and natural lip pencils. Good to have would be liquid lipsticks, bright lip pencils, natural lip gloss. Now on to the no limit budget, more shades of lip products and lip scrub. So last but not least is tools. So the tools section must have is a basic brush set. So you know your basics. Eyelash curler, sponges, Q-tips, tweezers, makeup wipes, makeup remover, cotton pads, and hand sanitizer. Also, this would be a good checklist for an upcoming makeup artist. Um, good to have would be disposable lip um, brushes, disposable mascara wands, and a beauty blender. Let's see, no budget, more, more, um, what does that say? I can't read my handwriting. More brushes, obviously. Look at all the brushes I have. I have like so many. Okay, so like I said, that is everything from my little checklist here. So I'm going to like recommend products that are affordable in the description box. So please, if you're interested in what I have to link and recommend, please check that because I'm going to recommend stuff that I have and then like other stuff that I like that I don't have. But yeah, so that was the makeup artist checklist. 
So if you're an upcoming makeup artist or you are a makeup artist, but if you're a makeup artist, I don't think you're going to be watching this video. But if you're up and coming and wanting to be that, I would recommend following along with this because it's pretty good, obviously. I, I really know what I'm talking about because I've been doing makeup since I was 10. So I know what, what's must have, what's good to have, and what you don't really need. So please check the description box below if you guys are wondering about any products that are good for this to start out with. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful to you. If you guys like these types of videos, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.